Warren, a week to reflect on the game past. What's your views on it now after a bit of time's passed? Look, I move along quite quickly. As I said to you, it was a game where we didn't deserve it, but we could have got something out at the end of it. Look, Worthington's a good side. I said this before. Good footballing team, good people in charge. Got a core of players there from last year. They've got momentum from where they've come from. But as I said, they always look at the goals we give away. Um, and I can't fault my players. Look, we're on the back of two games winning. We always knew it was going to be tough. Um, I move on quite quickly. So uh, it's not something that uh, I lose too much sleep over. I'll say it, but we'll move on. Um, also as well, now we're moving on to Dulwich, which is a bit of a, a local rivalry. How do you take those games with you know being a local rivalry and also they're starting to pick up a bit of form as well? I only lost one in six. No, that's a tough game. Um, the new managers obviously went in there the last couple of months, and as I said, you they've got a wee bit of momentum, as you say there. You know they've they've beat some good teams, um, but look, we can't look too much into the opposition. We always respect them, no matter who we play. But uh, we've got to worry about ourselves. Look, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a tough game because we've, we've got a good result down there. You know they'll want a reaction. Um, but look, there's going to be ups and downs at the end of the season. We've got to make sure there's more ups. And with the with the games coming thick and fast now, you know, Dulwich, Chippenham, games like that, and obviously we've got Chelmsford, followed by another rivalry in Dartford. These are the games that, you know, are gonna sort of make and break the season. Um, and this is a really good period for us. How do we attach attach ourselves to that? I, I don't think it'll make or break the season. I think, you know, look, it's hard to win any game of football, but it's what I said. We're building here. I, I'm very happy with where we are. Um, I said before the season, if we finish mid-table and be competitive, I'd be absolutely delighted. Because we're trying to start things new, you know. We, we, we want to bring our own, get our own people in. Um, which you have got a new board in place. Um, and it's going to take time. I was listening the other day there, that people were talking about Potter and this. It took Jurgen Klopp four years to win a, a league title. People, you just can't wave a magic wand overnight and think that, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So. Look, I, I'm I'm pleased with where we are. We, we'll get it. We we'll, we'll keep the boys going. We we'll keep looking at what players we can bring in to help us. And we've got tough games. It's a, it's a tough league. Anyone can beat anyone in this league. And um, as a city, we don't get too far away. We just take one game at a time, and that's starting tomorrow. And with the again with the Dulwich being in, in form the way they are, and uh, it being it being that type of game, what do you expect Dulwich to set up like tomorrow? Listen, they'll, they'll have confidence. Um, they'll come here, you know, probably looking at it that they can get a result. We've got dangerous players. Um, Mills up front to Hanford. You know, he, he'd probably go into any team in this league, to be honest. Um, but, you know, they've got other good players in Felix, Blackman, uh, so Redman. So, uh, listen, they've got, they've got good players. They're, they're, for me, you know, he, he's got them going. Um, they're, they're a lot better than where they are, but he's got them going, he's got his own methods, and we're in for a tough, tough game. Just to go backwards on it a little bit, the, the process at the club in the last year has been has been brilliant, you know, there's been a big turnaround, like you said, it's a project, and, um, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and um, moving forward, obviously, say you're getting your own people in, is there anything else that we can, you know, let loose a little bit for, for what's coming no, forward? No, I, I think it is, I think it's important as they go back to in the summer, you know what I mean, yes, we've got some players in, and We'll coach, but some of them were brought in by uh, uh, another person. You know, we were uh, we were bringing in Travis as well um, and sending them in non contracts, which I don't. Uh, it's not something. It's just numbers for pre-season. Um, so a lot's got to be assessed, but we are moving forward. As I said to you, look, we've got the right people. We've got a great owner who wants to do the right things in the community. We've got the girls' team going. We're going to have our own academy. And we're really, really moving forward, and now is the time, the next four or five months, where we've got to start building as well for next season. Listen, you can't take your eye off now because we've still got a job to do, but we're putting things in place. You see, with the players we've got in, you know, they're the contacts at what we want to use in the professional game, um, but also have that balance of, you know, with, with the players in this league. And as I say, it's all going, it's all going well.